Hello, it's Elder here, and today I want to talk to you about a couple products made by a company called Potty Packs. Now, I've been leading treks and campouts over the last few decades, and it never fails. A good percentage of the attendees will not use the latrine because of the fact that it's not sanitary enough for them. So uh, they end up holding it in for the whole weekend, and as you can imagine, that does not only lead to a horrible experience while you're out in the field, but it's also unhealthy. So I want to make you aware of these uh, couple little kits that'll hof hopefully uh, facilitate that latrine experience so that uh, you don't have to hold it in for the whole weekend. So Potty Pack basically offers two different versions of their single-use packs. One is a Potty Pack, which is made more for travel, and the other one is called Shit Kit and it is used more for in the field use. So let's go ahead and open up our uh, potty pack, our travel one, and see what we have inside here. So as we open this up, we have some tush wipes, all right, that are, uh, contain aloe vera and some vitamin E. We have some hand wipes here, some wet wipes also, little moist towelette. Here we have a toilet seat cover. And here we have four feet of toilet paper. And the potty pack also contains hand sanitizer. Right, just kind of looks like one of these uh, to-go ketchup containers containing a single use of hand sanitizer. So pretty cool. That's a lot of good stuff in a single use, uh, super lightweight kit. So let's go ahead and look into our shit kit, which is the one that uh, we would probably be using the most as far as natural training center out in the field. As you can imagine, a lot of times on these treks, uh, state parks especially, we have to use the latrines that are provided. They don't really want us digging uh, holes out there, so we try to abide by rules and regulations when we can. So as we go through this kit, in here, we also have our tush wipes, all right, with vitamin E and aloe vera. So it's nice and soft and you get your great experience while you're out in the field. Going through more of the contents here of this shit kit, we have a bag, all right? So we want to leave no trace while we're out in the field. And you can go ahead and utilize this bag very similar to the way we would utilize doggy bags to pick up your waste and dispose of it correctly while you're out in the field. We also have four feet of toilet paper and it's relatively soft toilet paper, which is nice. And we also have our hand sanitizer. One more. We have our moist toilets in here. Towelettes. Can't really say that word too well. All right. Basically, some wipes. <laughs> and uh, that's, once again, pretty good kit. All self-contained in this super light um, single-use uh, pack. So as we compare these two kits, basically the travel potty pack comes with a uh, toilet liner because it is meant more so for latrines, going to concerts, uh, travel, places where you're going to relatively encounter a uh, toilet that you could sit on. Now, kind of similar goes for the shit kit itself, except it doesn't have the liner for the uh, toilet lid. It has a bag because this is meant for in the field use. Uh, we want to be able to take everything that we have here, place it in the bag. Uh, most of the time we're going to choose to bury our waste out there when we're in the field but we don't want to uh, bury this stuff because it's not biodegradable. So we have the bag to throw the stuff in there until we can get to somewhere where we can dispose of it correctly. Now this bag is not biodegradable. I actually spoke to uh, Joshua over at Potty Packs and discussed that with him. And the one reason why is if you can keep these kits, uh, you can keep these kits, let's say staged or stored for over 10 years with this bag. If it was a biodegradable bag, it would be, uh, it would expire much, uh, much faster. All right. So that's one of the reasons why they opted for making it non-biodegradable because it's also really not meant to be buried. So uh, let's keep that in mind. The other good thing about potty packs, it's a veteran owned company. And those of you that have been following me for a while know that I'm always, uh, 
looking out for fellow veteran companies and uh, any opportunity, as long as their stuff's good to go, I want to go ahead and review it, feature it, and bring it to your attention. It's also made in the USA. Now, even if you're the most seasoned outdoor person, I'm sure that you'll find these kits extremely convenient and also a little bit of comfort while you're out in the field. Uh, both of these uh, packs are valid for in the field because a lot of times we do encounter Porta Johns while we're camping or encounter latrines. So it's nice to have that little liner uh, so you don't have to sit there and hover over some of these nasty toilets. And of course, the other addition of the shit kit itself. I'm going to keep saying shit kit as many times as I possibly can during this review. So the shit kit does come with the bag, uh, which is also key for our uh, abiding by lead no trace. So if you uh, feel that these would be uh, something that you want to add uh, to your kit, what I'll do is I'll put ordering uh, information in my blog post. So to make sure that you uh, check that out. I will put the link in the description below this video, and uh, I think that you might uh, thank me on your next latrine experience while you're out in the field or even at your uh, favorite uh, concert arena. So once again, this is Helder, Shit Kit. I hope that you found this review helpful.